So what you may know is that the DAL outcome study looked at the effect of a CTP inhibitor called dalcetropib in about 16,000 individuals with acute coronary syndrome. And that trial stopped early at about two and a half years for futility and had an overall null result. In a subsequent retrospective analysis involving a, a subset of that data, they found that a genetic variant in ADCY9 gene predicted the response to that drug in such a way that those with the AA genotype experienced benefit from dalcetropib, whilst those with the GG genotype experienced harm. And so this has been really led to not only the work that we've been doing, but also a new trial called the Dalgini trial, which is in 6,000 individuals, and they're specifically looking at people with this AA genotype um, and looking at the effects of dalcetropib in those people. So we um, undertook a study in the HPS3 reveal trial, and we undertook that in 20,000 of the original 30,000 participants. What we did is we looked at the effects of the ADCY9 genetic variant um, and how that varied by the ADCY9 gene. So we looked at the biochemical effects of anisotropib and we saw that there was no impact of the ADCY9 genotype on biochemical response to anisotropib. So it increased your HDL levels and it decreased your LDL levels to a similar extent independent of ADCY9 genotype. When we looked at the effect on major vascular events, so that's coronary death, myocardial infarction, coronary revascularization, and ischemic stroke as a combined endpoint, what we saw is that similarly to the main trial, there was a 7% relative risk reduction in major vascular events. But when we looked by adc 19 genotype, again, similar to the biochemical effects, there was no impact of adc 19 So there was no interaction between treatment and genotype. Reveal really provides the biggest, the largest data set to date of testing this kind of hypothesis um, in the CTP um, inhibitor world. So we looked at two and a half thousand major vascular events. So we were able to say that there's no material impact of the ADCY9 genetic variant on response to anisotropib, and we're able to rule out more than a 25% relative risk reduction in that AA genotype group. In terms of ongoing research, we're currently looking across the whole genome looking at, in a hypothesis-free way, looking at all the genetic variants to see if there are actually genes that do predict response to anisotropib. In terms of the impact, for example, on the Dalgini study, which is an ongoing trial, as we've discussed, what the reveal results really suggest to us is that this, any effect of ADCY9 on dalcetropib will be specific to that drug, and it appears not to be a class effect. So we await the results of the Dalgini trial, um, which should be out in about 2021.